Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from Potomac Beads. In case you're interested in this box, I will leave a link for it down there below in the description bar. So let's see what this month's theme is. It is called Seaside Zen. We all need Zen right now, don't we? Alright, and here are the patterns. Yoga bracelet pattern. Crystal tassel caps pattern. And then there's a free luminous necklace pattern. And then beads for our stash. There's a lot of stuff here. Alright. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. That's very pretty. I love stuff like this. Look at that. So this bracelet's going to have Potomac crystals in it. 4 millimeter O beads. Oh, the metal beads are O beads. And check glass faceted rounds, 3 millimeter. Check glass faceted rounds, 4 millimeter. Natural wood beads, rondelles. Wood beads are so popular right now. And I've collected wood beads forever. And I have a huge collection of wooden beads. And I never get to use them. Because um, I, I just have them like stocked away in my stash. And I've been getting a lot of subscription boxes. And so I haven't really gone to to them but I've been beading for like over 20 years and I've never seen uh, wood beads be so popular as they are right now they are so popular right now all right what, what else is there uh, Eslon bead cord text 210 and pewter button and a charm and I'll have to read this but it shows I think this is using that knot right there that I have used since I was like 11 years old. And if that's really made with just that knot, that's pretty epic. So I can't wait to see the bag for that. And then here is crystal tassel caps. These are so pretty. Wow. I really like this design and how they did the, the uh, tassels inside of this. It looks like it's a, and by the way, they changed, can you tell they changed their, uh, their little instruction thing here? It's smaller, less paper. I think I did a bracelet with this pattern in the past. You could totally do that if you want to. And the only thing that's making this a beaded bead is because after you do, you know, these four sections here, you come back and go through this bead, makes it into a round bead, but you can keep going with this pattern. And I have a bangle that I did, but I used um, six, uh, far, six millimeter fire polish beads, and instead of doing C beads here, I did fire polish on each side, and then I decorated the top there with But anyways, I really like how they um, have the tassel in here. I don't have to read through there and figure out how they did that. Is it right here? Yeah, I think so. That looks like the tassel cap. I'll see when I get to that baggie what the tassel is going to be like. This is really cool. I like stuff like this. There are some designs that are so simple to make. But they are so beautiful, and I just think that some of those designs are really ingenious. Like right now, I'm working on a, another macrame project, because you guys like the Creative Dreams bracelet so much that I did. And this bracelet that I'm working on is so simple, but it's like ingenious. The way that it's made, it's very easy. Anybody could do it, but, but it's going to be pretty epic. I think you guys are going to love it. Anyways, uh, this here, back to this. I think that's really pretty. I like the colors too. So I have several of these um, drops in my stash. These flat ones like this. Flat teardrops. And um, this is a good way to use them. Yeah, okay. So let's see. First bag is the earrings. Oh my gosh, this seed bead color is so pretty. Let me go back to the earrings. So this is the one I'm opening right now. I want to see how these tassels are. Oh, so these tassels, they have holes in the top right there. I have never seen this style of tassel before, and I have a bunch of these. 
tassels, and store-bought ones. I also like to make my own, but I've never seen one with a cap like that. Those are cool, and they're my uh, turquoise color that I love so much. This seed bead color, what is this called? Miyuki seed bead dyed silver lined blue is it zircon it says zerk but it might be uh yeah right there in the writing zircon that's very pretty i love that color now i have not used many dyed uh sea beads so i wonder how these are going to hold up I do know that the finish does come off some of them. But you know, I, I always find when I ha when I do have a seed bead or some kind of bead that's dyed or painted and I'm worried about the finish coming off, instead of using it in a bracelet, it's better off you're better off to use it in a necklace and even better earrings because then it's not really touching your skin or anything. So that's a good way to use beads like that. That are beautiful, you know, painted beads are beautiful, but they're not as durable as beads like this, for example. So this is a crystal disco ball. Six millimeter. I have this shape bead, not this color, but I have this disco looking crystal bead in a eight millimeters. Very sparkly. That's a gorgeous color. This is called Blue Zircon 2. Yeah. Aren't those pretty? It's a different shade of blue. I don't have much of that color in my stash. This is a Potomac Crystal Bicone Jet. 2mm. This bicone looks very different. Wait, 2mm? I don't have any 2mm bicones. I have 4, 6, some 8. Not very many 8. Very sad collection of 8mm bicones. And um, a little bit of 3mm. But I don't have any 2mm. Bicones. Wow, those are so tiny. Look at how little. Yeah. You know what I do? Instead of projects that call for 2mm bicones, I go for 3mm. Uh, not 3mm. I go for um, 80 seed beads in place of this bead when I have to use a bead like that. That's what I do. And then we have Miyuki Seed Beads 15-0. Glit Lined Silver. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, I had a Makari Seed Bead haul not too long ago. And there were these milky pink Miyuki Seed Beads. And I thought they were silver lined. But someone commented, and I also thought they were dyed. Someone commented... On that video and said that she thinks they are glit line which I've never tried before and this here is that milky white like opaline whatever opalite I guess I would say with that line in there these are really pretty so I want to use those Hopefully I will come up with a design where I can use those. And then we have these um, earring things to stop your earrings from coming off. And I have a ton of these, and I really don't care for them. They drive me crazy. I'd rather do uh, lever back ear wires instead of using those things. That's just how I am, though. And these ear wires right here, these are beautiful. Simple ball, 20 by 10.5 millimeter, 21 gauge. I like I like these. I like these. You know, you can take ball head pins and bend them. That's what they're doing basically here. These fancy looking ear wires with the ball point there. You just take a ball head pin and use um I have Wubber's mandrel pliers and you bend them to make your own ear ear wires. And I will close those down more because look how far open they are. See that? If you bend this down towards almost touching this, it's less likely to fall out. That's my secret on that. Alright, so I'm just going to put that over there. And let's go to the bracelet. Is this the... Yep. This is it. What does this say? Dragon cord. 
What's that? What is Dragon Cord? The new... Oh. Is this the cord I've been looking for everywhere? It's really hard to find this stuff. Uh, I'm trying to find what the name of it, but this this said Ceylon in the instructions, but there is this cord, it's twisted like this, okay, I'm just going to ask you guys if you have seen this. So see this cord here? It's a twisted cord. Um, you can get this in like nylon, polyester is where I've seen most of it, it's most of it, it's waxed. And it comes in small sizes, one millimeter or smaller. Um, I've seen people get it on huge spools, like this big, massive spools. But it looks like it's only available in like other countries. So um, I was looking on Amazon, and I found some spools that are big spools like that, but they're pretty expensive, like. 10 11 12 dollars for them and then i went on to aliexpress which i've never bought from them before i have no idea what it's going to be like shopping on there but i found where you can buy uh spools that are smaller and you can get like multiple colored packs but because i like to use such a huge array of different color beads i feel like it's best for me to start out with a different cord to always start with the basic brown and black and uh neutral colors like that but, um, yeah, I'm trying to find a good place to buy that polyester waxed cord. And the size that I like is the uh, 0.5 millimeter because I can double that. So, anyways, uh, back to this. New Dragon Cord by T -Tech, B Tech. This new Text 10 0.5 millimeter cord is of a medium weight and made from quality three ply nylon cord so this kind of sounds like it's a super long cord which I have but uh, it's not wet waxed this can be used for kumihimo macrame bead crochet and stringing and even better it is made in the USA as a subscriber you get to be the first to try out this revolutionary product as it is coming soon to Potomac Beads. So maybe they will offer some of this cord in a bigger spools. Um, you know what, I'm going to stop and get my Eslon cord and compare this. So here's a spool of Eslon cord and I love this stuff but it's not waxed. And the reason why I'm going for waxed right now is because it's kind of a water, uh, waterproof cord. And living in Florida, to have some cord that's waterproof, it's pretty good. So I'm going to try to get that off there. Let me see. I need to go back and figure out what size this is. I know it's really thin. This looks like it's exactly the same size. The twists on the super long, long cord looks like they're tighter and closer together. And this looks like it's farther apart. But this is nylon. And this stuff melts. Nylon melts and so does polyester. Alright, so I will be melting the ends of this so it does not fray on me. Alright. So I'm excited about the dragon cord. And I will definitely be looking into that in the future. Alright, what else do we have? Oh my gosh, those are adorable. Pewter Charms Starfish. They're only one-sided though. I wish they were both sides. You know, especially since using them in a bracelet. So cute. By the way, I do have a saltwater aquarium. And I used to have this blue starfish huge he was like this big around like the size of my hand and um he was our pet and my mom had the funniest name for him she called him five five pits something like five armpits she would use my little brother these are wooden beads just says wooden rondelles i like that dark brown color i have a lot of stuff like that in my stash I like to weave with wooden beads. That's fun. These are epic. These are O beads. Crystal Labrador Fool. No way. I thought these were going to be metal. That silver color is so spectacular. It really does look like metal slicer beads. Aren't those pretty? 
And then these, is this a tortoise? It is tortoise fire polish faceted round beads. Those are really pretty. I think I might have these in my stash. I don't remember if I have it in the four or six, but I have something similar to this. Aren't those pretty? And then a button. Can never have enough metal buttons. I think I got this before in the uh, bronze, antique bronze. And then three millimeter turquoise. Those are gorgeous. And this is sapphire, light sapphire AB, four millimeter. Those are pretty too. I like that there's like a lot of blue going on in this box so far. I'm a huge fan of blues and turquoise colors. Now we're moving on to the box. Is this the Cali bead? This is. Okay, so I got this bead. It's called a Cali bead. It has three holes. I got this and I think maybe like my first or second subscription from Potomac. I really love this bead. The bead that I got it in before was like a capri blue with cream and it was like a swirly bead. I made a bracelet with it. I'm going to go and try and find the picture of that bracelet. Put it up now. And I had did a tutorial on that bracelet. So if you want to remake that bracelet, just search for the title of the bracelet, that, the name of the bracelet that you saw there in the picture, and you will find it on my YouTube channel. Aren't those cool? Best color, too. Here are some pewter beads, 6 millimeter. I like the big holes. See those big holes? They're like one millimeter holes. And my Nautilus bead. I've used this bead a lot. Oh my gosh, this is transparent. I can't tell if this is green or uh, turquoise. Teal, maybe. I'm going to put it up to my lamp. It is teal. It's like a teal turquoise. It's very pretty. I need to find a white background to put it against. Is it showing? Do you see that? Very pretty. I haven't seen this color before. There you can see that one looks more transparent. The light's going through it. Right there, do you see the transparent? It's really pretty. I have used this bead a lot. I did this bead in my mermaid bracelet. I'll put a picture of that up now. I've made a ring with this bead. I made um, a necklace with this bead. I've done several things with that bead. I like to use it as a cabochon. And then this right here, this color is so magical. It's green. I wonder what it's called. Storm Duo Jet Red Luster. That That's really confusing. Jet Red Luster. So is this going to be, either this has the wrong name on it, and the only way I can find out is if I go to Potomac Bees website and I put that code in and see if this pops up green. Uh, last time, I got a pink bead that's called Red Luster. And I know the name wasn't wrong on that because I have Super Duos that are called Red Luster and they are pink. And I had something else in my stash, but um, it's weird how they... They say it's one thing. It's a completely different color. That is really gorgeous, though. I love those green beads right there. What is this? Enjoy this gift as a special thank you for subscribing to the Best Bead Box. Galvanized Apricot Gold. We got Apricot Gold last time, didn't we? But I don't think they were um, Jericho. I'll have to put this code in and see if these are Jericho. 
like those. And then, Peggy Beads Jade, 4 by 8 millimeter. These are so unusual. I really like this bead, but I feel like it's one of the most challenging two-hole bead because of its shape there. Aren't those pretty? Whoa, this is a lot. Tublet bead mix, Aztec gold. There's a ton of them in here. Is this like a full group uh, tube? Don't they sell these in nine gram tubes on their site? Because I think that there are so many beads in this packet that it would completely fill a tube. And I, by the way, I think these are way better than bugle beads because they're very thick. See how thick they are? I really like the shape too. They're, they're awesome for weaving together and using them in wrap bracelets. The um, loom wrap bracelets do like a cord, like leather cord on the side, you know, and loom these in between the cord. This, this here would be so epic in a bracelet like that. And this is Round Duo Mini Beads. Oh, Jet. I don't have many of these. I do love the round duos though. They're really awesome. I've used them in several of my designs. But I haven't really tried the mini ones yet. At least I don't think I have. But I currently have over 500 videos. It's getting hard. <gasps> what? Bead stopper. I've never tried one of these. You know what I use instead of bead stoppers? And you know, when you find something that works for you, you don't really move on to something else. Because if you already got something that works with you, why change it, right? It opens like that. So what I use instead of a bead stopper are these here. These are little gator clips. I got these at Michael's, but these hold your uh, bead streaming wires and cords. Now sometimes these will slip off if you don't put them on right, so you always want to make sure you put them like close up here to the tip, right? And do a little tug on it and make sure it's in place. And you can also use these clips right here I use these also to keep my um, beads from falling off my bead string wire but this is nice to have I do wish there was two though instead of one but something's better than nothing this cab is incredible is this flowers? 20 millimeter by the way, I already have several videos using this size cab. You can go back and watch them. This is so darn gorgeous. Is this coral? I do believe it is coral. Looks like sea fans in the background. Do you see that? That is so gorgeous. And I feel like all of the colors in this cabochon are right here in this box. These beads... The seed beads. Maybe I will do a tutorial with this cab. Look at that. That is so pretty. The gold. Look at that. Oh gosh. Don't drop it. I would like to do something with that as a centerpiece. Maybe try to do it in like another mermaid watch. Wait a second. Didn't I do my flower bracelet? I did not too long ago, I did a uh, flower bracelet. It was really over the top. It was an epic design. It was very similar to that mermaid bracelet that I made. And I'm trying to remember what size the beat, the cab was in it. Was it 20 or 25 millimeter, maybe 18? I can't remember. I'll put a picture of that bracelet up now. I put a lot of time into designing that bracelet, but man, it was one of the most amazing designs I've ever made. I really love that. And uh, this here would look so incredible in that bracelet. These beads are so funny. Is this straps? Oh, I thought this was the rice one. Last time I got bronze ones that were rice shaped. They're really cool. But this is a crystal drop, three by five. This is the tiniest, uh, top hole or center hole teardrop I have ever seen. I've never seen them this small. Look at this. It's just a little bit bigger than a Miyuki drop. But the hole goes down through the center instead of the end. 
those are really pretty and they look incredible with that cab you know I just realized I'm so bad off sometimes it says right here coral reef mix maybe I should read more often instead of trying to figure things out pewter bead frame oval or silver silver that makes no sense oval or silver <laughs> These are neat. These would look cool in macrame. Yeah. Have that be the centerpiece. You know the Creative Dreams bracelet that I just did? If you didn't see that video, I'll put a picture of that up now. This. Bead fame would look really cool on wire. In that bracelet, put some kind of fancy bead. Maybe a flower bead would fit in there. That would look really epic. And these daisy spacers. So I just use these in that. There's so much air in this bag. Look, it's like a pillow. Usually they're they're flat. That one has blood here too. Um, I just used these in that Creative Dreams bracelet, and I, I barely had enough. Like, I had six, what is it, like eight of them, something like that, in my stash. It was crazy. Triangles. These Miyuki. Sharp triangle matte metallic patina. Hmm. It doesn't say who they're made by. I would have to go on the site and put the code in. But those are really cool. See the color? I do find these really challenging to stitch with though. Because of that shape. I like to stitch with square stuff. Here's some Miyuki Delicas. Tenno. I like the black with that. Maybe I'll use these with that. Those are gorgeous together. Are these Rizzles? Rizzo? Rizzo. Crystal Labrador Full. It's the matte looking Labrador. So this matte Labrador, I have this in a bracelet. Where is it? Right here. I, at least I think it's Labrador. I wear this bracelet a lot. Okay, you can see it's wearing down. I've washed my hands with it on and stuff. But um, the clasp is holding up pretty well, and so is that charm. And these beads have not tarnished at all. Now, I'm not, I'm not, these are check, but I don't know if they are called the Labrador Fool, but they kind of look like it. See, they kind of look very close. But see right here, the beads are wearing down a little bit, and it's white underneath. But I have worn this a lot and I, I never put this away into a baggie it's always out in the air and open because I like it so much I'm wearing it a lot and I figured if it just wears down I'll restring it because I love the colors uh, so much but that's how those beads are wearing so they don't tarnish they just if you're rough with them and you wear them all the time that silver comes off and there's white underneath so I think that these would be great in earrings and necklaces Okay, what else? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> Check faceted rondel beads, 6 by 9 millimeter crystal travertine. These are so epic. Look at how gorgeous those are. Those are really beautiful. These might be some of my most favorite in this bag. They look great with these Nautilus beads. They're made for each other. I really like those. And that's it. We have a silica packet in here, which is the first time we've ever had one of these. And by the way, save these silica packets. I I have to go and buy them. 
And if I ever buy anything, or I even tell my family members, if you buy a brand new pair of shoes, save the silica packet and I will use it for my jewelry. My aunt was the one who told me about this. She sent me a whole bunch of leather cord and she told me to buy silica packets and put it in with my leather and sealed baggies. And I also have put this in with my silver, gold, findings, charms, pendants, and it prevents everything from tarnishing. So these things are awesome. Save them whenever you can. Also, sometimes um, medicine, like if you get vitamins, they will come with the darn silica things in it. I have a bottle right here. This is a uh, allergy pills. And it comes with this style. And you can also save these to prevent your jewelry from tarnishing. Toss it into your jars or whatever. They work great. Here is everything that I'm getting in this month's box. And like last month, I got so much stuff in this box that I'm having a hard time getting it all into frame. So hopefully you can see it all together. I'm trying to make sure that it's all here, but I'm like on the very edges trying to show you everything. But um, there's a huge variety of stuff here. There's so much to choose from this month. It's crazy. And I'm really loving this ocean themed cabochon here. It is really pretty and I know that you guys loved my mermaid bracelet just as much as I loved it. And you also loved my flower bracelet that I did with the, the vine leaves like on the sides. So I would like to do something like that again, but make it different again. Another variation. And there's a bunch of different beads here for me to experiment with. Like these Cali beads, they have three holes so I think these look awesome with this. So I would like to use these and the piggy beads in the bracelet. These two, I love the blues here. The blues are really pretty. And um, I would like to use these if I can because there kind of is this color in there and I feel like there's a lot of stuff here to choose from so I'm thinking I'm gonna try and do another bracelet with this as the centerpiece or maybe I could do a necklace with this as the centerpiece but I think you guys would like a bracelet more and also we do have a button here that I can use for the closure so I might be able to use only materials from this box to make the bracelet which is awesome and I love doing that because you guys can make the same exact piece so I'm gonna try my best see how it goes if it don't turn out my idea, then I will have to do something else. But I would like to do something like that again. It's just going to be different because I have different materials. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, I ha will have a link for this Potomac Beads Best Bead Box subscription down there below in the description bar. Scroll down, click Show More. It'll open up the description, and you can click the link and go to their site. So, yeah, I'm very excited about this box. There's a lot to choose from. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And check me out on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.